please join me in welcoming Noah. So as you're mentioning, that as we're looking across these different types of applications, one of the things that we're seeing is that there's so many different types of apps. There's you know, your traditional Microsoft Office, your traditional um, SharePoint that may reside in your data center, but it also may reside in a third-party data center. What we want to do is really bring these all together in a single administrative console that gives you control of all the apps for users, no matter what device. So really bringing to bear what Paul and you're, you're mentioning about user-centric IT, all the applications in one central place. So, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, so why don't you show me, you're going to add a few applications to my account now? Yeah, let's go ahead and look you up, and then we're going to add applications so you, we can see how that actually applies to a specific end user. So I'm going to go ahead and look up Steve here. And the first thing that we'll see are all the different applications that you're entitled to, right? And we have different policies on it. So, for example, Google Apps, we can see it goes to all devices, but it's going to be user activated. So in your own type of end user um, uh, enterprise application store. So we think that that's pretty uh, usable for you as you go between different devices. So like if I wanted to also use uh, Salesforce.com, for instance, how would you go and add that to my uh, personal set of applications? Let's go ahead and add Salesforce to you. So I'm going to click here and say Add Entitlement, and I'll scroll down, and now we see Salesforce. So I'm going to click just a single click, and we're going to be able to add and provision that account for Salesforce, as well as do provide single sign-on. So now Active Directory, your, your, your core uh, identity, is in one place, securing that across all these different SaaS services, either internal or external. So one identity, one password. So this is how IT is setting up things. Let's go look at how I'm going to consume it as a user of the desktop. That sounds great. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect over here, and let's go over to your, uh, your cubicle. Yes, my cool cubicle. All right. Okay, so I have a thin display that's in my in my office, and this okay. is where I'm going to access my uh, different applications. Great. So let's go ahead and connect into a View 4 or 5 desktop. And now that we've entitled you to all those different applications, we're first going to authenticate, and uh, maybe you could let me know. Oh, <laughs> password. It's on the sticky. Uh, yeah, we are great. <laughs> Good work, Steve. I think you may want to change that after this conference um, so that uh, in case anybody accidentally logs into your account. And so we're going to connect into a 4 or 5 desktop here. And as you'll notice, just like you saw in the service catalog, the apps that we entitled you to are now available directly <coughs> in this desktop. So we'll see Salesforce here. And I want to show you something that's pretty exciting and pretty cool. So get ready. Are you ready to, I'm ready. to see something? I'm just going to double click on this icon. and. Uh, Wow, look at that. Did you see it? Did you see what happened there? It was um, pretty incredible. I think, uh, yes, I'm auto logged in. I think that's what you're showing. <laughs> that's right. Sometimes in, in technology, some of the coolest things we can do is to make the, the security hidden, to, trans to make it transparent for the end user. And so now we can see this VMware, uh, VMworld <laughs> session you know, all through the View desktop, and you know, we can see that the same interactive display um, just available to you uh, seamlessly. Yeah, so what's happened here is that we've just used single sign-on. Uh, we just acquired a company called TriCypher, which is going to allow me to take the Active Directory settings that are inside the IT firewalls and use that same authentication scheme to get access to a number of SaaS applications, in this case, Salesforce.com, <coughs> all with that same identity that's managed by my IT department. Great. So we know, you know, we saw that uh, earlier. You were talking about all these different devices that you want access to. So this is the oh, yeah. view desktop on a thin client. But I'm sure there's probably other platforms that you want access to as you go on the road. I uh, definitely like my iPad. So why don't you show me how that's going to work in the okay. same world? Okay. Great. So we're going to connect in here. I'm going to go ahead and go into the session. All right. So now that we're on here. First thing we will see is that we now have this brand new view client, and this is something that's coming shortly. And we're going to go ahead and click into the view client, and you'll see here that we've integrated some gestures into this, the system that we'll see very quickly here. Let's close that window, and now we're going to see your same desktop now presented on this on this uh, iPad. That's exactly platform. where I left it off. Exactly. <laughs> when we touch on the screen, it's a really good touch you touch user interface. And in fact, when you look at this iPad, we don't have a left and right click. So if I click up here at the top of the header, we'll now see that we have a touchpad option where I can now do left and right click built into this device. So that we take advantage of the ergonomics of the system, even though you know, we don't have a traditional keyboard and mouse in front of us. So we think that's pretty interesting, but there's so other... Yeah, so you can let me get access to my Windows <coughs> desktop now, but um, you know, candidly, I didn't buy an iPad to use Windows. So how could I use some of the native interface? How would that fit? Great. So let's go back here to the home screen. 
And so that's where really Project Horizon, I think, really excels. So we're going to swipe the screen here, and we're going to see the brand new Project Horizon icon. And we go ahead and click into that application. We're going to do, again, our uh, super secure password. So let me Don't type me. in here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, iPad, for projecting that onto the display. Uh, and we'll go ahead and go in here. And so what we've done here is we've actually transformed the user interface to be appropriate to this device. Big, large icons, very easy to touch. And remember earlier, we had provisioned Google Apps, but we hadn't created the account yet. If we go into the application catalog here in the corner, we'll now see that Google Apps is available for us to install. And when I literally click on that button, not only does it you know, make that application available, but we go out and provision the account inside of Google so that IT administrators don't have to do that in the back end all with single sign-on and making that uh, super simple for you as a user. Going back to the home screen, now I'll simply see the Google Apps icon, and with a big, with single touch, I'm automatically authenticated into your account and it makes it available on this device. Oh, very cool. And what about um, phones and some of these other new devices? You certainly, you certainly do have your uh, share of applications and devices here. I do. So this is the new uh, Dell Streak. I don't know how many people have seen it, but we also have the capability to really take advantage of these different screen sizes, right? So we have the 9-inch screen of the iPad, we have a 5-inch screen on a streak, and we think that that's going to be extremely important, especially in healthcare and a lot of our, our current customers are saying, how do I make sure I have the same user experience across all these platforms? And Project Horizon is one of those ways to help enable that. Yeah, this is very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Steve. Thanks, Tom. All right. And then this is real and this is moving. Uh, you'll be able to get the first version of Project Horizon uh, next year. So it's, it's very much under works. But if you think about it, what we've really talked about here is how do I take all these different applications types that I like, and then how do I take all these different devices that I like, and use them and have them come together in a safe way. And I think that's what is going to move us from really wondering about how IT should be today to really being happy with IT. And in fact, that's what IT service is about. It's about making user making users even happier and more productive by focusing on not just the production of IT, but actually on the consumption of it. And I actually thought I'd be even, you know, a newfound love of IT, so I took a very embarrassing picture saying, if you give me this, I'm really going to love IT again. And that's really what we're trying to do, is make the users happy with what they're getting from IT, and they'll use them instead of finding a way around IT. So we've gone through a lot here today.